Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I'm just getting our own vehicle back and well, we've got parking level zero, one of 12 cars. I had no idea we could store so many. Okay, so we want to get that one back there. Uh, how do you do it? Oh, we, we actually got to go to parking, I think. So we go to the parking and we get our vehicle. We're going to bring that one back and we're going to do a little bit of work on that one first. And then after we've done that, we're going to keep at least a reserve of $5,000 in the kitty. So that we can, should we need to, um, you know, buy a whole load of bits. Because we did, we've done one job where we had like four and a half grand's worth of stuff. So we really do need to be careful that we don't overspend. So we want to go to uh, overview. How do I move the car then? says overview car state oh move to garage like that right all of these bits in red we want to replace and all of the bits in orange as well plus uh, most of these bits in yellow all of these bits here have oh no there's some more bits there that are in yellow we're going to go for 75 percent that's what we're going to aim for is get 75 percent on everything so we do there's a lot of stuff that needs replacing and some of this we will hopefully be able to repair, and some of it we're not going to be able to repair at all. Now, the only issue that I've got is that once we move it back to the... I mean, at the moment, car price, $12,617. I'm still not sure how we go about... So we want to return to garage. How we go about selling the car, whether we've got to do it through auctions or do it another way. I'm not quite sure on that one yet. Um... We're also very much going into the deep end here because I know very little about the vehicle itself and anything else with sort of finding out what's wrong with it. So it's, it's very much a stab in the dark for me and I think that's going to be sort of part of the experience here of doing this. My only concern is that we've only got one lifter in here still and I'm thinking that maybe we would want a second lifter. We want to have this vehicle... Um, I mean, if I move the car at the moment to car lifter A, can we put it in parking when it's only on two wheels? If we were to re if I was to remove a wheel or two, could I still move it out and put it into parking? That w that's kind of an important thing to find out, I think. Uh, but anyway, let's get up onto the car lift, and we can at least make a start. So we we know that some of the wheels aren't in very good condition. So car status, I mean, brake pads, they're useless. Inner tie rods, rubber bushings... Um, there's all kinds of things. We've got an alternator, an exhaust manifold, oil filter, serpentine belt. Those are things that we bought in order to replace so that the vehicle would be all right. Right, wheel hub three, wheel hub cap. Those are things that we're going to have to sort of take off and take a look at. So what I'm thinking is the first thing that we will do is remove the wheels. If we take the wheels off, we can then see what condition the tires and the rims themselves are in. And see if they need actually replacing. So we do that, and the brake caliper can come off. That's in. That's at 35%. Brake pads themselves, 42. They got to come off. That one's got to come off. And then we're sort. We're heading into the drive axles and stuff like that. So I'm not sure how much I want to take off at the moment. I'm thinking that for today, all we're going to do is we're going to take the wheels off and we're going to strip back as far as the front wheel hub. Uh, focus on part. Right, so with this one here, I can't take this one off yet, so what do I have to do? I have to take the front axle off, remove that one. That one's at 50%. There's a, a nut there that we can take that one off. So then we take out the wheel hub bearing, uh, then the front wheel hub itself, and that one we come around the back. So if I strip the wheels down like this, and we've got the steering knuckle, then the front axle knuckle cover... And then that is as far as we're going to go. We're not going to take we're not going to take any more of that one off there. So I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to remove this as well. Do the same. I mean, ideally, we'd want it up on its own stand so that it's off out the way of the rest of the uh, the rest of the garage, and we could then sort of do a little bit at a time. It would be more realistic if we could do it like that. So we, I mean, we need to sort of advance in level to be able to do that. So I don't want to spend too long doing this at the moment because we can't sort of advance in level while we're messing around with our own vehicle. I don't think we can anyway, uh, unless you, you get XP points for um, selling the vehicle in the end. I absolutely don't know about that. So let's remove that wheel hub there and... 
Right, no, we don't want to do the, the knuckle housing. So we go over to the tire again. And I'm actually thinking that we should just take a look and see what the condition of the wheels is in. We haven't actually stopped to do that. And I also need to decide if I'm going to put this stuff back on before I move it to the garage. Actually, I don't even know if I can move it to the garage. Well, that's, that's another thing to find out. So let me just take off the brake thingy here. And then we want the wheel hub bearing. See, that's, a, that's in poor condition. So we don't actually know what condition that's in at the moment, this one. Uh... 51% so it's not actually too bad the wheel hub is at 20% right that's everything I'm taking off of there and then we go to the front wheel remove this one if we can put this stuff if we can put the vehicle back in the garage without having to put this stuff back on I think that's what we're going to do I think it would be a lot easier for us if we could do all of this with it on its own uh, stand that's what I'd like to do take that one off that one's 31% and then the next bit we come into here we remove the front drive axle and take that one out then the wheel hub bearing then the front wheel hub and this one seems to be in pretty good condition actually take that one off yeah 52% it still needs replacing well replacing or repairing so we've taken everything off there that we want to take off for the moment and I'll tell you what actually let's just see what happens when we try to put a wheel back on a minute uh, oh no, I, I can't do it like that. So I don't want to do it like that. I want to go like that and then inventory. And right. Are you sure you want to sell Classic for $42? No, I don't. I wanted to take a look at it. So combined, that's 30, 49, 39, and 32. So they're in poor condition. They would need repairing. So we go to the repair bench and we'll see if we can do anything here. Brake caliper at 16 Repair chance 65%. So let's do that. That is now 84. So that's acceptable. We can put that back on our car. This one. So 65% chance of repairing is reasonable. I mean, 40% is still not good enough. So we actually need to do that again. And we lost it. <laughs> um, brake caliper again. This one is in at 18%. It's now that's at 43. So that one's... Yeah, see, we're doing some repair work on them. But... Ooh. That one's fully repaired. This one here is still not repaired enough. So we've got to go again. And we've lost that. I'm not actually sure. When it uh, drops... Oh, I see. It's, it's just kind of rearranging the, the order of everything on here. Right. So we go brake cylinder now and repair. It's up to 40%. Repair again. It's 89%. That's acceptable. 35%. And we've got to do that one again. I think we lost that one. And this one, and again, and we've lost it. The front drive axle. Oh, it's still not. 71 is almost good enough. And I think we just lost the drive axle as well. Is that one. 50%. I'm, I'm breaking a lot of stuff here. See, 74. I would like to be able to increase the chance of repair just a little bit more. Because it, like, 71%. At 81, that's fine. That one, 73. It doesn't repair it very much. It's a shame it doesn't actually... Yeah, we, 75. That's our target. We said 75. So I've got to do these 275. So I will run the risk on each and every one of them to 75%. And that one, and that one. Right, that's fine. We're not going to do any more. Those are fine. And I think we've just destroyed most of them. Actually, I'm not actually sure. Did it destroy them or did it not? Have, have we broken most of these brake calipers? There's one there. And what about the rest of them? There's another one. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like we've kept very much here, does it? I mean, I've got a huge amount of stuff now that is kicking around. Um, the brake disc can't be repaired. That's 80%. 99, 100, that one's at 100. Oh, did it when it, so if it went to 100, that one's down at 1%, so that one broke. Uh, so several of these are actually at 100, so maybe they just kind of went, ah, oh, I see. It looks like they just went off the table when they hit 100%. So if they go to 100%, they just drop off the table. It looks like we actually repaired more than I thought we did. Some of these we didn't repair, but a lot of them we did. And if I click to use here, these are all in top-notch condition, so I'm not going to try to do those. Actually, the repair chance has gone up. 
Does that increase with... It's all 69%. Maybe... I, I don't know if the repair chance increases with um, use. Do, do, do we sort of move that up as we go along? That one there was raised to 65%. But it's actually 69% now. So maybe we maybe we increase our own repair chance as we repair items. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to find out if I can just send the car back to the garage like this because I'm really liking the idea of earning our next stand here. That's level 12 and we're currently level 7. So we do have a little bit of work to do in order to get there. And I think that the best way to do that is not to mess around with the story mode too much, but to do the standard jobs as quickly as we can. So I will see if we can move the car to parking. Wheels are missing. Right, so we can't do that until we put the stuff back on. So that is going to be our first priority. And I've now got to find out how to put stuff back on. So I want uh, part mount, front axle knuckle cover. We've got two at 100%, so we can put both of those back on. And then the front wheel hub, I've got one good condition and then one poor condition. So I'm going to need to buy one of those. And then what do we got? We got the uh, wheel hub bearing. Let me get that one. There we go, wheel hub bearing. Uh, those are no good, so I'm going to need four of those. I need to buy four wheel hub bearings. And I could have just pressed T to do that. So I need to buy four of these, and I also need to get one of those uh, front plate thingies. I can't actually remember what it's called. So we'll have to have a look at that. So um, wheel bearing, wasn't it? Let's just go wheel like that, and that should wheel hub bearing there. And it was the wheel hub three. It was that one. There wasn't any other. So that one there, I need one of those, and I need four of these. There. There. Right, that will do for a start. We're probably going to need the wheel hub caps as well. Let's go on to here, and we go to part mount mode. So we want... Brake disc ventilated. Uh, is that on all of them? I think I'm going to need four of those as well. So let's just press T and get four of those. We go brake like that, and then we can go brake disc ventilated, and just collect four of them that's four hundred dollars that's a bit expensive that's very expensive right uh in order to put that one back on we need which way round do these go on i think yeah the brake disc ventilated goes on first then we put the wheel hub bearing inside there we got some new ones of those and then we put the front drive axle on we got two of those it at 100 percent. we successfully repaired those i'm quite pleased with that uh, next up, we want the brake pads. Oh, I need four sets of brake pads. So let's just get those. And then after we've gotten four sets of brake pads, we're also going to need some brake calipers. So I'll get four sets of those. We will need some of these, but I'm not sure how many just yet. So we'll carry on with this. We want the brake pads there and then brake caliper. So we got two of them are in acceptable condition. There, and we've got three of these in good condition as well, so we can use those. And we'll buy a couple more right at the end. So that's that one, and then the wheel. Right, we do need to get wheels done. So, not quite sure. I think, you know, for now we're just going to, we're going to go with these wheels that we've got, and then we can replace the wheels later on. So we've, we've sort of done the brake things, the, the, the bits of the brakes and that, but we'll, we'll worry about the wheels another day, I think, would be the best way to approach this. So let's whip over to this side. We want the front axle knuckle cover. That one there. Then the front wheel hub. I need another front wheel hub. So let's get another front wheel hub. And I want to go to... just If I go wheel like that, that should be... There we go. Front wheel hub is that one. Another $110 on that. It's going to be expensive to fit our car up as we go along. We put that one in. But if we do it as we go along, we can basically completely strip the car out. We can strip everything out of the car. And then we can just sort of carry on from there and, and rebuild it from the ground up. We will repair everything that we possibly can. And then after we've repaired everything that we possibly can, we will... If I got everything on there in the right order? Uh, I think I do, because the front wheel hub, we've already put that one on, haven't we? Yeah. So we want brake pads there. Then we want the brake caliper. 
that one and that one. Yes. Yes. Put those two on. Just reaching around the back for that. And then finally we want one of these to go on here. These will be replaced later on or repaired if we can. I don't know if we can... We might have to take the tyre off in order to be able to have the chance to repair them. I'm not quite sure. But we've got all of that on. That's all looking good there. We then have a wheel hub 3. Another one of those to go back on. And in here we want the rear wheel hub. Hang on, what's the percentage of this one? Let me... Um, Come off of there. Rear wheel hub. Oh, 80%. Right, that one's okay. We're going to have to get one more of those to go on the other side. Because the other one that we've got is not in good enough condition. So we want to go there. Wheel hub bearing. That one we got a new one to, to go on there. And the wheel hub cap. So we need a wheel hub cap times two. And we also need the... Uh, not the cap. The rear wheel hub. We want a, a cap times two and a rear wheel hub. So that is that one there that we want. And we want two of those. Let's get those. Uh, we're also going to want brake calipers in a second, aren't we? Put that one on. Nice new one there. And a brake disc. Oh, I bought the wrong ones. Right, I need two brake discs. And then I also need the brake caliper. I'm on the wrong side now. Let's move around here like this. And T... Uh, what was I saying? So I need a brake. Let's just type brake in for a minute. Right, I want two of those and two of those, I think. Or is it one of those and two? Of I think it's one of those. And two of these, I think. I'm taking a wild gamble here. So brake disc ventilated, we got too many of those. We bought too, too many. So we, also, we need brake discs, just the standard ones. We'll keep the brake disc ventilated. We'll probably end up using those. And we go on to there, then we click on the suspension, and now we go into the part mount mode, and we should be able to put the rest of them on. Right, so we've got the brake disc at 100%. Brake pads, obviously we do need new brake pads, that goes without saying. Then a brake caliper, we need two brake calipers, and yeah, we've, we had enough brake caliper cylinders. We got that the wrong way around. That's alright. We'll cope with it. The, the brake cylinders are the sort of thing that we'll use up quite a lot anyway. Oh, I just realised when I um, look there, you can actually see the percentage of the tyre and the wheel. So there's something that we will take a look at in just a second. Let's, uh, I'm trying to get it. Just There we go. Over onto that one. And put this one on. So we've got the last wheel hub. That one can go on there. Then you've got the rear wheel hub. That one to go in. Put the nuts on there and then there should be a wheel hub bearing to go in there the last decent one finally we've got a brake disc to go over the top and then we can just do the brakes so we've got the brake pads nice new ones brake caliper now this is the only one that's not in good condition so i'm not going to do that i'm going to put a brand new one on there so we take that one yes come out of there right what i will do though is i'll take the new brake caliper and like that and then i'll take this one here that's 88 percent because that brand new one we could use that on a paying job should we need to and this at 88 percent is within our range we've said 75 and above so so long as it's 75 and above that is acceptable put on a new wheel hub cap you can go on there and then a wheel and this one here the rim classic 43 percent and the tire is at 21 percent so once we strip those apart we may be able to run a repair on the the rim itself i'm not quite sure yet uh, but we'll find that out at another time so we'll just put these back on here now i'm hoping that is everything back on the car so let me just drop that one down if that's everything that's fine that one can go back to the garage and that one will stay there now until such time as we can do something better. So I want to uh, move car to parking. Right. That one is in parking. And I want another lifter. I want to uh, expand the garage and I want a second lifter over here. And then that car can come back here and go on that. And we will strip it down completely and rebuild it from the ground up. And we'll sort of do a little bit to that at the beginning of each episode, I think. It's kind of, kind of what I... Um, that's, that's how I envisage things, how I'd see things moving forward with that. For now, we're not going to do story mode this time. I know we've done story mode for the last few days where we sort of uh, diagnosed it ourselves, but I don't actually want to do that. I'd like to try to work through a few standard orders. So I'm going to have a look through here. This one here looks like it's got an awful lot of stuff it needs to do. Replace timing-related parts. 
lack of engine power, change engine oil and filter, controlling car feels loose, general running gear control, repair. Um, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. But at the same time, I think that could get us a lot of money. I think there could be a lot of things to do with this one. So this, I'm hoping, is going to be our next big job. We, we're going to make a fortune out of this one. J.R. Huey. 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 And right, so if we go here and we go to car status. So replace timing related parts. The water pump, the belt tensioner and the timing belt. And then we've got lack of engine power part not discovered. Change the oil filter. Controlling the car feels a swear, sw swear, sway bar rear end link. And general running gear. we got a huge list of stuff here. Right. Uh, front drive shaft, steering rack, front spring, shock absorber. So the only one is the lack of engine power. That one there. Lack of engine power. I, You know, I reckon that that might actually be... Uh, we want to move that to car lifter A. A lack of engine power. I reckon that might be a... Oh, what have we got? Have we got a petrol or a diesel? Does this have injectors or does it have... I reckon that it... it this is injectors, isn't it? Um, fuel rail there. Uh, you've got the ignition coil. Notice... Um, Ignition wires. Yeah, I, I reckon that it might be something in there. I reckon it might be one of those. The um, the spark plugs. It looks like there's spark plugs on there. Right, let's just come out of here a second. And so we've got to get a sway bar and stuff like that. I think that what I will do for a moment is I will buy each of these items on this list so that it's all there ready to go. And then we can get started on the rest of it. So the lack of engine power is the one part to discover. And the rest of it is fairly straightforward. So let me just pick up this stuff. Well, I've gotten a great deal of the items. I haven't gotten all of the items yet, but I'm almost there. Now, we do have a few other bits and pieces here. So I'm just going to get that front drive shaft and the steering rack. So we went front drive shaft, 4x4, and steering rack. And that should be fairly easy. Uh, steering rack is right there. And get that one, $800. And drive shaft as well, wasn't it? So we go drive shaft, and we want front drive shaft 4x4. Get that one for $160. And I think, oh, there was rubber bushing in there as well, which I needed to get. So we will just get that one. Go like that, and rubber bushing. So I'll get one of those. And then I think that's everything. Well, no, it's, it's definitely not everything. There is a couple of these other bits I need to get. So there's a rubber bushing there. Right, an inner tie rod. I don't think I've got. I'm sure that I've got a spring, but I'm not sure if it's a front or a back spring uh, from previously. Lower suspension arm, front shock absorber. I don't think I've got a front shock absorber. So, um, lower suspension arm, we will go for. So, suspension. And lower suspension arm, that one there. And then front shock absorber was the other one. So, if we go front... Let's try front shock. There we go. Right, front shock absorber. I definitely don't have one of those. Take that. And let's take another look. Right, so I've got I got the other bits. Uh, wheel hub bearing, I think we've got now. Inner tie rod was the one I didn't get. We just get an inner tie rod, and then I think that really is everything. I, I think so. It might not actually be. It's, it's very, a very good chance that it's not. Um, so we go tie rod. We want the inner tie rod there. Right. So that's everything that's listed. So if I put that up onto a lifter. Now, we do need to do the oil filter. And we've also got one item that we've got to try and find out about. There's something wrong here. So we want to remove the exhaust manifold cover first so that we can take a look there. There is an item that we've got to identify and establish what's wrong with it now those spark plugs look to be in pretty good nick so it's possibly not the spark plug uh that one was at 93 percent that one was at 89 percent that one was at 84 and that one was at 85 right so if we go part mount and we put those back on it doesn't look like it was those and i'll do that right the way across so we could very quickly go and do the We've got a pump that we've got to replace. So we can do that first. We've got those on there, and then I put the ignition wires back on. Oh, hang on a minute. Those ignition wires. What condition were they in? Part unmount. 
14%. That actually I think that's the bit that we're supposed to be looking for. Okay. So I should I should really pay attention up here to the bits that I'm taking off. So we want to go I need to press T and I need to get ignition wires. If I just go wires, I think that'll be everything. Yeah, right, ignition wires. And I've got no idea what I've just taken off. So let me just take a... Uh, actually, I reckon I can do that if we go into car status. It'll probably tell us. There we go. Ignition wires, I4, SOHC. Whatever that means. Right, I4, SOHC. That's the one that we want there. So those ignition wires are the ones. And we can put those back on. That was a very easy diagnosis. I'm very pleased with that. I'm absolutely thrilled. So we can put the manifold cover back on there. Right, that's that bit done. Now, over here, it looks like that's the bit that we've got to we've got to get over onto the side. So um, we go to part, unmount, go over to the wheels, and let's take this one. Oh, we've got to take it off. We've got to put it on to the lifter to start with. And I am on the lifter. Right. Oh, I actually need to be down on the side because I think it's because I was up onto, onto the top of it. So let's remove this wheel here. Now, we've got a whole load of stuff to do on the front suspension. I think it's that shock absorber there, among other bits. But what I'd like to do first is I'm going to mark up all of the bits that we need to do just so that they're easily identified. We've got those bits in there. That one's done. We've got the oil filter. That's easy enough. Sway bar end link. That's down the back. And then we've got the general running gear. And that is mostly all the stuff on this side. It's, it's, this side of the vehicle is in rather poor condition. So we need to strip everything off of this side. So we start off with the brake caliper. Remove that. And that one is in good condition. Brake pads are in good condition. Brake disc ventilated. It's only the stuff that's actually marked up that we've got to worry about. Now, I'm not sure how we go about doing I think we've got to remove the front drive axle next. That one comes off like that. Um, because we've got to get to the, the steering knuckle, so we do actually need to remove it, all of this stuff here. The the bearing, and then the front wheel hub. I think that one, yeah, that one's got to be replaced anyway. And then we've got the front knuckle cover. Right, now what have we got? we got that sway bar, front end link A, that one there. We can come off. And then we've got the front shock absorber. That one's in poor condition as well. That one's out. And... Steering rack, so I want to take the inner tie rod, which is then the outer tie rod. That one's got to come off there. And then the inner tie rod, that's one that's got to be replaced. We move up on round. We've got the steering rack there. That needs to be replaced, which means we've also got to take off this one. The outer tie rod can't go until that tire has been removed. So we take that one off. Remove those five nuts on there. I don't know if we're going to have time to actually finish this job today. I hope we do. Right, so now that we've removed that one, we can take that nut off there. Then that uh, inner tie rod can come out, and then we have the steering rack. That's got to be done from under the car. We've also got the front drive shaft 4x4, so we've got to take that drive shaft off. That's actually easy enough. That one can just come out there. Then the front drive shaft, that one can come out. So the steering rod, there's, yeah, the steering rod, we've got to access that from under the vehicle. And then over that side, we've also got this lower suspension arm. That's also got to be done from under the vehicle. I mean, if I, actually, that rubber bushing there on the end. If I do the rubber bushing on the end like that, that one actually allows me to remove that. We've got the front steering knuckle. That one can come out. And then finally, that is really not going to let me do that until I get it right up on the lifter. So if we, we come out of here, there's another piece that we've got to do at the back as well. It's only a small piece that we've got to do. It's that one in there, that re sway bar rear end link or something. I can't really remember what it's called. So if I just take this back wheel off, we can deal with this back wheel right now. We can get that done so that it's completely out the way. And if I come around this side, can we do that yes we can that one can just be taken off right there and replaced as it is so if we go to part mount mode and put that one back on a new one as a replacement there we go right that's that done and then i can just put this wheel back on they're all in pretty much the same condition so we put that one back on there right that's the back that's the back done there's nothing else back there that we need to worry about so now we'll lift this one up 
and we'll take the oil out while it's up there and we'll also do the oil filter as well so we uh we want to take the oil out first don't we so we want to move equipment and we want to go to car lifter a in underneath you here and use equipment so that will drain out that oil dirty black oil there that needs to be gotten rid of move equipment uh put it back and then we come up in underneath here and we go to that oil filter and we remove it and then we go part mount and we put a clean new oil filter back on in its place so that's that bit done and then i go to the unmount mode again and now i can remove that steering rack right steering rack is done now i've taken all those bits off how many of them could i actually replace uh, repair we've got i don't want to repair any of those Okay, so none of the bits that I actually need to do something with I could um, repair. So it's kind of, it doesn't really make any difference. So if we look up in underneath here and I wing round like that, I want to go to part mount and steering rack. I can put a brand new one on there. So steering rack is not something that we can replace. Uh, then uh, where are we going next? I think the steering knuckle is the next one. I put that one on. If I move over here, move down a little bit, and move down a little bit more. So lower suspension arm, that's a new one that's got to go on. We want a new rubber bushing and the 93% one. Yes, that can go on there. So we can do that one up, and then do that one up, and do that one up. Right, so that's everything was replaced from underneath the car that needs doing. So now we'll lower it down, and we can just get to work in the top part. And then we've also got the actual engine itself that we're going to have to strip out the side of the engine there and we've got a piece to do in there. So let's get cracking with this bit in here as quickly as we can. So uh, which bits? What goes on first? That's, that's the next thing. Uh, the, the rear end sway bar link. Oh no, we, we can put that one in, can't we? So I want to go to part mount and I want to do the front drive shaft. That one goes in. There's a new one there. After that, we can put the front drive axle on there with the nut that goes on the end like that. This one here has a inner tie rod, and that is the 82% one. And we also have an outer tie rod there. That one, they're both in reasonable condition. So that's that side done, and I'll put this tire back on. We just spin round. There we go. So get that one on there, and then we can go and put the bits together on the other side of the vehicle go like that whiz all the way across here so i want to go to the inner tie rod we'll put that one on that's the new one that's got to be replaced then we want that outer tie rod there that will go on as well we've done the piece at the bottom uh we want to go the front shock absorber we'll put that one on now this is the bit that oh that's the one that we needed to replace wasn't it but we also need a front spring and i don't think i got a front spring so we can't do that for a minute that was the that was the bit that we got to use over here with the spring puller now this is the one that i couldn't use previously i, I didn't know how to do this so yes i want to pull everything apart with that and that puts it in on there so i need a front spring don't i there's one thing i don't think i've got i've got a spring of some kind but I don't think I've got... Uh, we go to suspension. It'll be a bit easier if we can narrow down the search. There we go. Oh, I do. I've got two front springs. Right. That's fine. So click to use. Uh, take parts from the spring compressor. And then you go back to here and you go to join parts. So we've got a brand new one of those. Brand new one of those. And that one at 74%. That's fine. Join those together. As soon as that's done, then that can go back on the car and we can put the other bits. Then we've just got to get down in underneath, so take parts from the spring compressor. I'm glad we figured out how to use that one because it would have been rather difficult trying to um, do... Well, it was. It took me a while to figure out how to use that one, didn't it? Um, part mount. That one on there. Right, now we've got everything. It's, it's, it's looking really good, that is. We put everything on there. And what next? We want the sway bar front end. That's another new piece to go on there. Looking good. Uh, what else? I think that's just about everything from the middle of the vehicle. We've got that front axle cover to go on there. And then the front wheel hub. That's a new one to go on. Do those from the back. And then I've got a wheel hub bearing. That's got to go in. Oh, that's at 59%. Oh, is this another one that I needed to replace? I don't think I can put that back at 59%, can I? 
No, I don't think I can. I think I need to get an. I think I need to get another one of those. So we'll go. Uh, we'll have bearing. So if I just go bearing like that, that's my timer to say that we're running out of time. Um, we'll have bearing. Yes, we can get that one. We go to part mount. I can do the brake disc ventilated. That's a brand shiny new one. I'm pretty sure. Right, when we put that one on, and then we can go with the brake pads. And we can go with the brake calipers. Yes, and yes. Take those. Right, I'm pretty sure that um, some of these didn't actually need replacing, and we've gone and replaced them with brand new. That one was okay anyway. And do that one up, and then that's everything on there. So if I do those up, it should just be a few bits inside the engine still to go. So I don't know how long that's going to... Let's just take a look, quick look and see what we've done. So that up there, we've still got those three bits to do. That one's done. Change your... We've got to put the new oil back in. That's done, and that's all done there. So we've just got the timing-related parts on here. I don't... Act, you know, I... We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. We're going to see if we can do this. Um, it shouldn't take very long now to do this. We want to take that one off. Actually, if I can... Uh, I want to go there. What I wanted to do was do this and remove... I'll keep those bits on there. And remove these blue outlines. Like that. I'm down through and do that. There we go. Right. Now, that's going to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing. So, I need to remove that, which is the serpentine belt, and then I want to take the crankshaft pulley out. I don't know why I want to take that one out. I want to take the water pump off, definitely, because that one's got to be replaced. So, remove those two there, and then I want the idler roller to come off. Then I can take the timing belt cover off, and we've got the belt tensioner and the timing belt itself. So, the belt tensioner's got to be removed, and the belt... The timing belt has got to be removed. So those are done. So then if I switch and I go to part mount mode, we can put the timing belt back on. Then we can put the belt tensioner back on. There we go. And fortunately with this one, you don't actually have to worry about setting up the timing on the engine, which does make life considerably easy. And easier than it would be if you had to set up the timing. Setting up the timing is a rather complicated job. I seem to remember my dad having to do something about that. I've got no idea how you would go about doing something like that. It's a, that is way beyond anything I would be capable of doing. So I'm quite pleased that we don't actually have to do it. There's that one on there and there's a belt there. Is that ever? I think that's everything. I think we've done. Oh, no, no, no. There's one more thing that we've got to do. We do have to put some oil in here. So let's just fill that one up. I'm feeling generous. I think we'll just keep going until it overflows. I don't know how many times you can do that. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to overflow. I'm going to assume that it's close to overflowing. We did we did just pour in an awful lot of oil then. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> that that's uh I was I'm quite pleased with that. Right, let's uh, close that one down and take it off of the lifter. I think we are done. I'm quite impressed that we managed to do it that fast. So, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Let's just see. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, done, 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 and done. Finish order. Yes! Not bad at all. So, we're now up to 1100. We're still on... What level are we? Are we? We're level 9. Are we, we've just jumped two levels with that. Upgrade cost. Are we level 9 or are we, le we level 8? It says 9 there. I'm pretty sure we're level 9. Right. Uh, we're level... No, well, we've unlocked this. So, I mean, we've got all of these different things here. Unlocks electronic meter. Simple but useful um, for electronic connections and uh, compression tester. General engine condition. Right. So these are all really useful. But then this one here, successful repair chance raised to 75%. Which... To my mind, would be better. Unlock. Right. Uh, we don't have any others. Upgrade cost. Available skill points. It says 8 there, but it looks like we're on level 9. Yeah, we, we, we are. We, we're on... I'm sure we're on level 9. I, I don't really know if we're on level 8 or level 9. I'm not quite sure. But we've gone up a level anyway. We have $11,000. And... 
Tomorrow, well, tomorrow, I'll say next week, actually. Uh, next week, we still won't do the story mode one again. We're going to do a few more of these so that we can try a repair all gearbox faults. Car is loud, list provided. That could be interesting. Brake system needs fixing. Ooh, that's a nice looking old car there. So there's all kinds of different vehicles coming through the shop now. We've got all kinds of uh, different tasks that we'll be able to do with them. Um, that's all we got time for. So thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.